So Parabellum. I need every province in the Elysian Outer Defenses province group in the, is in the zone of influence of a fort that is owned by Romania or its subjects, allies or ally subjects. Fucking Jesus, that's that's a pretty, you know, extensive fort network wired, not gonna lie. That's um That's an ask. It really is. Shit. But I mean, if I want to be getting down here, it's kind of going to have to do it. It's going to be one that we we wait on. At this point, I'm thinking, sure, um, we could lower it by five years, but like, there's not a hope in the hell I'm getting this done before the year 1500. So, you know, a true nation is going to happen in 35 years. That's That's what I'm thinking here. Maybe I can build 12 buildings. That That's probably doable, maybe. Probably doable. Uh, Elysia itself. Let's turn off the edict. How are you getting on for this? It's, it's pretty, it's pretty slow. Slow going. So, three Merc companies available. Oh my god. Look at this. My ally, he's making troops. Delightful. War exhaustion high. Yeah, it, it do be like that, don't it? A church in Ivos was burned down in what the Hellenic community decries in an attack on its faith and way of life. They accused the vile heathens of treachery and violence and clamor for justice. Lose the temple. Or 80 ducats. Another loan it is. You haven't done the Fort Network in 1565. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a whole, it's a whole, like, ask, really. Political marriage is as much a union as it is a contract for mutual support. The Chrysor Ballantites are a family expects that the Basilius will heed the advice of the Basilissa and actively look after their and his interests. They gain influence. Uh, whatever, sure. Wow, that cost me two... Two loans. But hey, we're almost done. I think. We're getting through it. Oh yeah, uh, we've done the mission, so fuck you guys. I'm taking my alliance slot back. Who even am I allied to? Abenaki, you're all the way up there. You know what, I'll keep now, I'll keep this one. Abenaki, bugger off. And... I'm not over anymore. No, I'm still... 4 of 4. That's good. Okay, let's uh, remove you, maybe. The Orthodox community, resentful of the Plethanist rules, turned away for tax collectors. Again. Plato's gets religious persecution, then. Enjoy conversion. Only self-sustaining noise. Uh, do we just keep moving up the coast then? I believe we should. RIP my innovativeness. At least we're making money though. And no rebels are firing yet. Platos has been converted. How delightful. Next up. 
Odessos. Which should never have been converted in the first place. But it's going pretty fast, so... One can't complain too much. Vinland will be discovered soon. I mean... Like, it's, it's already kind of here, right? You want 15 ducats? I don't really have it, but whatever, sure. Oh, nice. I'm not over my force limit. Beautiful. Let's full core this area as well. Conversion or death, Odessus. You shouldn't be having unrest from that, should you? Religious persecution. No, you're Hellenic now. That should go away. Well, that's a pain in the dick. It's fine. We'll get everything converted, uh, and we're going to be happy. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Many join the ranks of our navy, expecting a more exciting life awaiting them, with this opportunity to leave their home behind and see the sea and land beyond the Roman borders. Not all of these are prepared for an often harsh and even more dull and boring life at sea. Stuck with endlessly repetitive tasks, food and company on longer journeys, many young sailors quickly regret their decision. Dismissed as daydreaming landlubbers by their more seasoned crewmates, they quickly become more trouble than they're worth. Some might eventually grow used to the reality of the job and become useful, but others do more good returning home. Losing sailors. Okay. I mean, it's it's a cool event. It's interesting to read, but the event is completely, completely trash. Can you uh, just, uh, just just pop pop a butt in dock a moment? Just want to have a just have a quick gander. See if you can. Um... Nope, you can't. Okay, so uh, protect more trade. That is definitely going to rebel. People being disappointed in leaving home, however, shall however shall at least you cope with leaving their home. Tell me about it. It's crazy. Oh, you now want to royal marry me because we're both pagan, we're pagan and proud of it. I do like the Norse religion. It is it is a pretty dope one. Odessus has been converted. We'll pop some more points in there. And we'll convert Methane. You know what? Would it actually be not better to convert these ones first? Considering I'm going to lose like 3% conversion speed. I think I'm going to do that. As soon as these religious wars are over... I lose my big frickin' conversion speed. I don't want to do that. I like my conversion speed. These guys have just been stood outside my borders for so long. I don't know who you are. Oh, I know who you are, but I don't know where you're from. At some point, I will conquer these peoples. Yeah, see, that's not taking very long at all. So I think it's probably worth doing. Get the natives to, you know, believe in Zeus instead of... I, I don't even know. 
totemism? Sure. Zeus is totally cooler than totemism. That is an interesting icon for a uh, spreader of Hellenism. Not gonna lie, it is a whole thing. God, those religious wars cost me so much manpower. Costing me so much manpower. Stab one, let's go. You're a colony, right? Of course, of course. Elect a naval doctrine. Um, sailor maintenance. I mean, it's unique, so I should probably go with it, right? It is going to cost me 40 ducats that I can't afford right now. Mostly because I'm paying off loans. So I guess we'll do that later. Hey, more tobacco. It's what you like to see. Get them good trade goods. So, we're converting you, then we're converting Methane, and then we Gooch. We could actually convert um, the Squipperies as well. They are, you know, they are my religion. They just don't have any of my religion provinces. So, they're probably struggling pretty badly with... Uh, unrest, stability cost, corruption, all that bad shit. If I'd be able to replace Skanderbeg with uh, a Paladogos. Oh, Skanderbeg's dead! Oh, that sucks. Gion Castriotti is there now instead. It is bad. We've already read that event. No need to read it again. Alright. Final province. Spent quite a lot of... Uh, I think 450 dip on lowering war exhaustion as well. Yeah, no Christians allowed in the New World is is now the policy. So we just wait for this and we're good. Conversion or death, bitches. What are my government reforms right now? Well, we have the power structure of Exiled Empire, which we're going to get rid of eventually. Um, and then we get to choose between one of them. Uh, we've got Noble Privileges. Um, next up is either Decentralized Bureaucracy or Centralized Bureaucracy. But yeah, this should end our pain. Marital bliss. Uh, sure, I'll take your money. Nothing ever could go wrong from this, right? Silence returns. The streets of the capital fall silent at last. Tentatively, our Basilius ventures through the palace gates, flanked by members of the guard and their faithful dog. Around the Basilius, life seems to return at last. 
A sense of normalcy has fallen on the city once again, now that the opposing factions have finally been brought to heed and hostilities finally ceased. We can only hope that a lasting peace within our country has been formed, and that our people will rally under the one truth faith for good. We gain a stab, and conversion zeal will be removed. And I get missionary strength. Now that we don't need missionary strength, we've got missionary strength. It's great. Alright, I'm going to help you convert. That do. End your pain, not without fault network you need for the mission. Yeah, I mean, let's have a look. What I need for that again. Mate, can you just stay up? Thank you. If I close that, that goes away. That's unfortunate. Oh, I keep doing it. So, one... And that covers everything here, including these two. Then... That doesn't need to be covered. So we're looking at two... Three. We only need three. I think we only need three. Which is still 600 ducats. Times of need. Uh, yeah. Give me, give me them ducats. Three ducats. Give me them ducats, please. Help me pay off another loan. Finally, we've heard back from the dearest Eudokia regarding our request for her husband. The noble Jarl Egil has decided to grant it. The reply returned with coffers of gold to fill our emptying treasury. A letter of thanks shall be sent immediately to the generous Jarl Egil. Egil. Long may he reign. Fifty fucking ducats, fucking Jesus, I'll take it. It's gotta, gotta be beautiful. It's kinda beautiful. Uh, so yeah, we make some money. I think I'm gonna grab Manpower Man. Um, do I want to grab another? I don't think I do unless they're cheap as fuck. None of those are cheap as fuck. Our Basilius has grown increasingly interested with the higher intellectual pursuits and can spend days talking to the learned men of our court. He started inviting scholars from near and far to help him better understand how the world and the people in it functions. The way things are developing, Theophilos II himself could probably become an authority in his own right if he could spend enough time and resources on the areas of his choice. Physical world, laws of gods and men. I mean, I'm going to say gods and men because... The fact is, we're we we need we need to learn about Zeus, right? We've just come into a new religion. We've told Jesus to fuck off, and we need to learn about Zeus. So we must understand the laws of gods and men. And with that. I'm gonna put a uh, I'll put a pin in uh, today's stream of Third Odyssey: uh, Escape to the Motherland. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. It has been great to get back into what is both familiar and incredibly um, nostalgic for me. It's been at least five years since I've played this uh, mod, and uh, it's nice to get back into it. I'm I'm a big kind of Romaphile, uh, Romabu, if you want, and I'm a big yeah I'm a big fan. This is this is pretty dope. So yeah, we're uh, we're pretty small still, but we have much potential for expansion, and I will be continuing to play this uh, in the not-too-distant future. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the stream. This will probably be going on YouTube as well. Um, probably not super edited like I'm doing with the Anbana series, um, but something just on the side, you know? Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed um, Third Odyssey, uh, Escape to the Motherland, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.